Local authorities are monitoring rising coronavirus hospitalizations, and those numbers could force some reopenings to be rolled back today. Also rising, the number of people getting tested after the holidays, and the FDA has an important warning about false negatives. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers is live at a testing site in southwest Houston with what this means for so many. Brittany, good morning. Good morning. Well, the notice from the FDA involves the curative test. And as you mentioned, this is one of their testing sites here locally. Meanwhile, we're continuing to see the number of hospitalizations across the area continue to rise. COVID numbers continue to rise across the country and in our communities. New statistics from the state reveal COVID patients are filling more than 15% of the available beds within the nine county region. And this includes Harris County. Restrictions are now looming. We are close to reaching the seventh day and, and triggering that threshold that the governor set out. According to Governor Abbott, if the hospitalization rate continues to climb above 15% for seven days, it will prompt a shutdown of bars and restrictions to restaurants and other businesses. Things are getting worse. Things are not improving. And this may just be the tip of the iceberg. Meanwhile, the Food and Drug Administration is warning about the risk of false results, specifically false negatives, with Curative's COVID-19 test, which includes swabbing inside of the mouth. The company lists more than a half dozen testing sites in the Houston area. The FDA says the test needs to be done properly under the watch of a trained health care worker to reduce the risk of the wrong result. People are taking these tests in some cases in their cars and people are monitoring through a window and sometimes you can't necessarily see every step of the process that's involved and, and that could be having an impact on the result as well. Curative said in a statement in part, quote, we're confident in our data. We're working with D the FDA closely on the matter. Testing sensitivity and accuracy on behalf of our patients is at the heart of our work. Now, we do have an interactive map on our website with more information on different testing locations. Just visit clicktohouston.com. Reporting live in Southwest Houston this morning, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News. Brittany, thank you for that information.